Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and what I'd like to do today is to give you all some tips and tricks on how to write a plumbing company business plan as well as to give you all a foundation as to how you can go ahead and construct a basic profit and loss section for your plumbing company business plan. So the way that I've got this little video envisioned and planned out for y'all's viewing and listening pleasure is I'm going to give you all a little bit of information, a little bit of background about me, why I feel I am qualified to dispense and discuss and disseminate information related to a plumbing company business plan. Um, then from there, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, some of the um, tips and tricks such as your company information section and the also a foundation for your pro forma financial projections for a plumbing company business plan. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, zip on through this little uh, PowerPoint presentation I've got ready for your viewing pleasure, like I said. All right. A little bit about me. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you all want to avoid the trials and tribulations of fun and excitement of writing your own business plan and all the personal growth that is in, entailed with the process, all you got to do is just pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I would be absolutely delighted to write a plumbing company business plan for you. However, if you've already got your business plan just about written and those financial projections are almost in line and you just need that little ump, that little push to get you up over the edge to, to reach that top of the mountain, then what you can do is just check out some of my books online at Amazon.com. I've got some books on there for how to write a business plan as well as how to go ahead and understand and construct financial statements and such. And then finally, education background for myself. I am an adjunct professor and a subject matter expert in both business and finance. So if you all want to go ahead and you've, you've got your business plan already written up, um, but what you do need is a little bit of help with those financial projections. Those numbers are just, they're just, you know, avoiding you. They're giving you a hard time and they're just not cooperating. So if you need a little bit of professional assistance with your financial, pro forma financial projections, again, uh, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, be delighted to assist in that endeavor. All right, another but enough about me. Let's talk about your plumbing company business plan. So for your plumbing company business plan, tip number one is going to be your company description. Uh, for the most part, plumbers are going to be um, providing similar services. They're, they're going to unclog pipes or they're going to lay a um, foundation if they're doing um, pre-construction work or they're going to be, you know, setting toilets or they're going to be replacing bathroom or kitchen fixtures. So uh, there's a lot of similar services provided by plumbers. So it's a little bit difficult to differentiate from one plumber to the next. So what I recommend is when you write your company description section, you know, of course, you're going to talk about your company name and your location and some of the general services you're going to provide. But also in that segment, make sure to touch on some differentiating factors, some niche services, um, such as you might want to specialize in residential or commercial. Um, so if, if you're going to specialize in residential um, services or commercial services, make sure to identify which one you're going to do. If you're going to do both, if you'd be more of a generalist, then again, make sure you go ahead and state that as well. Also, <clears throat> excuse me. Some plumbers, they're going to offer overnight and weekend services. So this is something that not all plumbers are going to do. And it's a great way to differentiate your services. This is, this is going to build customer loyalty phenomenally if you are going to be going out there at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning to unclog a, unclog a drain or to, you know, you know, take care of a, you know, pipe that is just, you know, spewing water everywhere. So, you know, it, it, it's a great way to not only lock in some real good um, loyalty from customers, but it's also an excellent revenue generating opportunity. Next is going to be high tech gadgets. There's always new gadgets coming out, especially in the plumbing industry. That's going to help you, you know, identify some problems with some pipes or, you know, just you know, do whatever you're, you're normally going to do. You know, for example, many years ago as a construction superintendent myself, <clears throat> we had a plumber come out and, and he had a camera. Um, you know, he was able to stick the camera down the drain, take some pictures and, you know, it cost us a little bit of extra money, but it was a high tech gadget at the time. And, you know, right now I think everybody has those kind of, um, you know, videos and cameras, but again, it's a good idea or a good example of how a high tech gadget might be able to set your organization apart from other plumbers. <coughs> Next, for the company description section, um, business models. You know, do you have a training program that you're going to be putting your plumbers through? 
you know, and is it going to be documented? Is this something that you can have put in your business mo um, business plan and say, you know what, all of our plumbers are going to be A, B, C, and D, X, Y, and Z as well. Uh, next is going to be teams. Some plumbers I've seen, they work in teams. You, you have a plumber, then you have an apprentice. You know, two people are always better than one. You're able to get a lot more jobs done in a timely manner. And, you know, you, you've got some assistance for cleanup as well as, you know, hauling the equipment out and <clears throat> doing you know all the uh, pre and post uh, job trips you know f that need to be done you know two people like i said is better than one so if you're going to have a two-person team or a three-person team you know make sure to discuss that in your business model segment as well and then finally for your company description section what i like to do when i write a plumbing company business plan or just you know just about any plan i like to go ahead and, and pepper in some statistics some facts and figures that i'll find from my reputable source online you know, for example, for the plumbing company, that is a $124 billion uh, industry, and it also is growing at an average pace of about 1.7% annually for revenues. When you include facts and figures and statistics that are backed up by footnotes, um, what you're doing is you're adding credibility. Um, to, first, you added credibility to the information. <clears throat> that you're providing you're showing that you've done your research and that you know you are doing what you need to do to better understand the industry but when you add um credible facts and figures especially in your company description section you're showing that the information in here is accurate it's been researched is correct even though it's just those two little two or three little pieces of statistics the reader is going to assume well if this information is correct then all the information in the business plan is going to be correct so that that's an assumption or at least a foundation to that assumption you're building um just by peppering some facts and figures and some statistics all right <clears throat> excuse me next is going to be financial projections um so in this video i'm not going to be able to you know show you all how to go ahead and construct and complete and do all the wonderful things that you're going to need to do for your uh, pro forma income statement and your 12 month profit and loss statement your balance sheet your break even analysis and such but what i can do is show you all how to do a quick and um, quick and efficient down and dirty um, just a real quick um, financial model that's going to help you identify some pr price points it's going to help you um, set some benchmarks for your financial projections and it's also going to be an excellent foundation for you to use that you may be ex able to expand upon to complete or to you know grow into some pro um, pro forma financial projections so what i'm alluded to is this little financial model that i've created right here and this little financial model it's really a handy dandy little thing that i use with a lot of clients um, just to help them get a real good idea or just to get, help them get an, an idea of how many customers they need to service, uh, what, what's the average sale price needs to be in order to help them achieve their net profits. So in this little segment right here, I've customized for the um, plumbing company. It starts with a um, just a revenue section right here. So you got your monthly fixed cost section, and then finally, it's going to be your monthly profits. So in order to devise what our monthly profits or monthly um, revenues are going to be or gross profits are going to be, what we're going to do is i've got an average customer sale so uh, on a daily basis this hypothetical situation we are going to be able to service five customers the average sales price could be 225 dollars and the variable cost which in could include parts it can also include gas for the you know for the plumbing truck driving around and you know what maybe some maintenance um for the tools as well as the truck so whatever your variable costs are um you can go ahead and put that information in here once you have your number of customers your sales price and your variable cost the next step is going to be to deduct your variable cost from your sales price it's going to give you gross profits in this example it's going to be 195 dollars next thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply that 195 by the number of customers you're going to be servicing a day in this example five it's going to give you gross profits of 975 dollars next thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply that 975 dollars by the number of days you're going to be operating in a month so if you're going to be operating five days a week, then you might want to go ahead and put 20 or 22 days. Um, if you're going to be open every day, then put 30. Uh, but most plumbers are going to be about, you know, they might take um, the weekends off or they might work six days. So we'll, we'll go with 24 days. The next thing what we're going to do is well, once we do that, we're going to then multiply the daily gross profits, 975, by the days that we're going to work in a week. And in this example, it's going to give us a net gross profit, uh, a monthly gross profit of $23,400. 
We're going to then take that $23,400 and plug it in down here. Next thing we're going to tackle is going to be the monthly fixed cost. Um, for the monthly fixed cost, what we want to do is we want to identify um, what our monthly fixed costs are going to be. Um, typically, for a plumbing company, it's going to be lease, it could be labor, it's going to be utilities, it could be marketing, supplies, legal, accounting, insurance, and the miscellaneous, the end all, catch all, um, be all of whatever you don't want to go ahead and just itemize out. Just you know, put it into miscellaneous and um, you know, make sure you put a dollar amount allocated to it. Once you're done with that, add up all your monthly fixed costs and plug it in right here and just equal sum and just highlight all that information the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and do your monthly profits so for the monthly profit section you want to go ahead and fill in the monthly gross profits which is this number right here then you're going to want to do your monthly costs you're going to want to pull this number down here finally to get your monthly profits you're going to deduct your costs from your gross profits and in this particular example, it's going to give us $10,150. So what this means as a plumbing company, if we service five customers with an average ticket of $250 with a variable cost of $30 and we're working 24 days a month and we've got these fixed costs, our net profit is going to be $10,000. But let's say that, you know what, in order for us to get out of bed and to make this worth our while, we need to make a net profit of $15,000. So what we are going to do is we're going to change the number of customers we need to service on a daily basis. And we're going to say, you know what, how many customers do we need to do? And for this particular example right here, we need to service about six to seven customers on a daily basis in order to achieve those net profits. So you can see that just by changing some of these variables right here, we can go ahead and move these numbers around until we can finally figure out where we need to be, what our benchmarks need to be on a daily basis in order to achieve our net profits. Also, this foundation right here is a great foundation to expand upon and to build out a um, you know 12 month profit and loss statement. And all we're going to do is we're just going to apply some growth rates, you know, or to, you know some growth rates to our revenues or maybe into our fixed costs, whether it be marketing or supplies. Um, but we just you know start adding some growth rates, and we can quickly and efficiently blow this up into a um, 12 month profit and loss statement, and then from there even a f um, five year f um, projections. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. And just to summarize, when you are writing your plumbing company business plan, make sure to follow up a proven format. Um, if you go to the SBA website, uh, they do have general templates there that you can use for a plumbing company. And you can also use it for a, um, you know, a lawn care company and a restaurant and a manufacturing company and then a clothing company an electronic company and a software development company so those general templates you can use them for all kinds of businesses the only problem is is a plumbing company is going to be operating and working and and advertising differently than all those other companies and so trying to use a format that is general you're going to be struggling and in some cases you'll be struggling to figure out you know which information you need which information you don't need what's not applicable what is applicable so save yourself a little bit of aggravation and um, you know either a start from scratch it's probably gonna be easier for you or B you know use a customized plumbing business plan template um, that is aligned to the industry it's gonna save you a lot of aggravation next is going to be is to keep the start of the show as the business uh, too many times I've got a client send me over the business plan and by the time I'm, I'm done reading the business plan I know just about everything there is to know about this um, company this um, and this owner you know from the time they were born you know to where they got married and, and you know they graduated college and they did all these wonderful things you know I know so much about the owner but I don't know anything about the business so when you're writing your business plan, make sure to stay the f keep the focus on the business, make the star of the show the business. Uh, you are a supporting cast member, a supporting, you know, you, you're definitely an important aspect of the business, but don't make the business plan about you, make it about the business. And then finally, um, if you need a little bit of help in your business plan, reach out, you know, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, be delighted to help. You need some financial projections done, I do that as well. And then if you do want some more information on how to write a plumbing company business plan, <clears throat> just zip on over to my website, qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash how to write a plumbing company business plan. If you would like a template that is customized um, for the plumbing uh, for a plumbing company, um, I, I do have a business plan template as well as a financial model that is customized for this industry. All you have to do is go to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash plumbing company business plan template. 
and you can go ahead and pick up um you know it, it it's not free you, you do have to pay for it um but you can you pick up the you can pick up the template on my website so hopefully this informa information was helpful and as always um you know if you like the video give me a thumbs up on youtube thank you